Welcome back. In this video, I'll be cutting out the frame gussets using the Shaper Origin tool, a CNC router. Gussets are supports used to reinforce the joints on each frame. In this 3D step model, we can see the gussets used to reinforce frame 1. Using the Shaper Studio design tool, I uploaded the 9mm ply DXF files. Since I'll be cutting all of the gussets out of one 3 8 inch thick piece of marine plywood, I place them as one object. I change the units to inches and move the anchor point to the bottom left corner of the design. Next, we plan the cuts. With all items selected, it's easiest to plan the engraving, cutting on the line with an engraving bit 1 16th inch deep. I select all the gussets, planning an outside cut with a quarter inch bit deeper than the thickness of the 3 8 inch plywood. Finally, I select the outside border of the plywood and define it as a guide. I review the design to ensure that the engraving and cuts are as planned. With the design automatically saved, we can move out to the workshop. We set up our 9mm marine plywood boards that we're going to use to CNC cut the gussets. Okay, the first step is to apply the shape of it. It's a nice straight edge across. The first one can be about 8 inches or so past the line because you'll be cutting over here. But then after that, we're going to do them about 4 inches apart. Four inches apart. The key is you just put them down straight and tear. Put them down straight. It's time to use the Shaper Origin. The first step is to scan the entire surface. Starting in the upper right corner, I'm going to create a new scan. And I'm going to start scan. And as you see, I'm going to go left to right. And as I do this, the Shaper tape is going to turn blue. I'm going to keep moving down about half a frame and keep recording. So I want to get my full edge of the frame scanned in. So what I'm going to do is just lift it right off the edge and I'm going to come across. Oop, I got to get some shaper tape in there. And I come right off the edge. Now that we've scanned in the entire plywood surface and turned it into a workspace, we need to add a grid. And we're going to add a new grid. So what we have to do here is put a bit in and identify the edges of our plywood. I'm going to take the router off. I'm going to pull it out. And press here to lock. Take the bit out. And I'm going to take the engraving bit and put it in upside down. And I really only have to do this hand tight. I take that and I put it back in. I 
do need to tighten this up here. Okay. Now I'll turn it around. And what it's telling me to do is lower the bit. So I'm gonna take it all the way off the edge and I'm gonna try to make it so you can see in here so that the router is off of the edge of the table. And then I'm gonna lower the bit. Okay, so it's down. And when I push it in here, it's gonna go right up against the edge of that board. Okay, so now what I need to do is define that the bit is a quarter inch bit. So it knows it's a quarter inch. And what it's asking me to do is push this up into the edge. So I'm gonna come into one edge here. And I'm just gonna push it in not too hard, just hard enough to make contact. And hit probe one. Then I move it down. And I'm creating the X axis. So I'm gonna push it into the next piece and hit probe two. Okay, now I'm gonna move it all the way over. And I wanna do is set up probe three so it has my Y axis in the right hand corner. We have our shaper tape laid out on the plywood and we have a grid. So the bottom left corner is zero, zero. And you can see as I move it, it knows where it's at. So I can take it and move it around. Next step is to import a file. And as you can see, I have one file within my temperatures folder called the nine millimeter plywood gusset. So I'm gonna click that and download those files. We gotta pick our anchor point. The anchor point is in the bottom left. So now what I want to do is I can do one of two things. I could move it over to the design to be 0, 0.0 or I can hit position and say zero, zero. Now I've anchored it right in there. And what I do is I hit place. Okay, so now my entire design is placed on this plywood. Now we are ready to make our first cut. I'm going to take this exact same router bit and I'm going to flip it upside down. Lock it in, and this time I'm gonna lock it. It's gonna be doing some real cutting, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten it up. Okay. And put the spindle back into the shaper origin. And lock the spindle. What I want to do is change on the tool from design to cut. Over here is Z Touch. So if I want to do a Z touch and I'm going to do that through automatic. So there's my first engraving. And you'll notice it highlights this. And if I go to do a cut, then it will, it will cut along those edges. And that's what I'm going to do next. Once I highlight the object, I press the button and let the shaper origin do the work.
after all the engraving is complete, the next step is to cut out the individual gussets. Insert a quarter inch bit. Put that one back in. Tighten it up. Doesn't have to be too tight, just getting snug. Do a Z-touch. Let's do an automatic Z-touch. I'm gonna bring this over into the corner. I'm gonna zoom in. At this point, I feel comfortable controlling the shaper tool on the straight and curved lines, but around the corners, I press the auto button and let the tool do the work. The addition of a camera mount greatly improves the footage. The gussets are cut out in two passes. The first pass is 0.2 inches deep and the second pass 0.4 through the board. Again, press the auto button and let the tool do the work. As we approach the second pass, the Shaper Origin automatically ramps the bit down to 0.4 inches. Until next time, cheers.